this video is a continuation of our previous class. In this lecture, I want to discuss again annuity and I want to discuss some problems which, which is related to uh, loan or borrow. In other way, I can say which is related to present value formula because present value is the amount of any kind of loan. So let me read this problem first. Sam borrowed $5,000 to buy a car. Since the problem is related to borrow, so this amount is the present value because present value is the amount of any kind of loan. He will amortize the loan by monthly payments. Therefore, M will be 12 of R dollar. The payment of each installment in our formula we denote by small a, but in this question they denote by capital R. So it is same. Each over a period of three years, therefore, number of installments will be 3m, which is equal 3 into 12, which is equal 36. Find the monthly payment if interest is 12% compounded monthly m equal 12 and j equal 12% ok and you need to calculate capital R since this question in this question payment of each installment denoted by capital R and b uh, find the total amount Sam will pay so let us first solve the first one small a find the monthly payment so monthly payment means small a or capital R and present value is given which is 5000 I equal j by m and m is j is the nominal rate which is 12 percent m is the number of conversions per year which is 12 and 12 percent means 0 0.12 divided by 12 which is this this is i n equal 36 so by putting i present value and n in the present value formula we know present value formula is this pv equal a by i 1 minus 1 by 1 plus i whole to the power n where present value is the amount of loan a is the amount of each installment i is the interest rate and n is the number of installments when interest is compounded more than once in a year then i we will denote by j by m and j is the nominal rate which is given in this question 12% and m is the number of conversions per year here for the monthly case m equal to 12 which is equal 0 0.01 so by putting these uh, values given data in this in the present value formula we can easily calculate a small uh, capital R this is the payment of each installment but when you are required to calculate total amount SAM will pay. It means you need to multiply this installment by 36 since the total installment 36. So this amount into 36 which is this. And second problem a 70,000 condominium is to be purchased by paying 10,000 in cash and the remaining 60,000 he want to pay by a mortgage for 30 years at 9.7% compounded monthly. So M equal to 12 since it is compounded monthly M equal 12 and J equal J equal 9.75% and present value present value is 60000 because he already paid 10000 in cash and for the 
remaining 60,000 you want to make a mortgage so i will be j by m which is this n equal number of installment 30 m since it will continue up to 30 years so 30 m m equal to 12 360 is the total number of installments now by putting this data in the present value formula we can easily calculate small a payment of which is installment that will be this and the total payment will be what if you multiply this installment <coughs> by total number of installment 360 then you will get total payment and total interest paid will be what total interest paid will be this 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 amount you are uh, you are required to pay but you are paying total this amount in 30 years so you need to subtract the principal amount to get the total interest paid okay in b it says what will be the total amount of interest paid the total amount of interest paid will be total payment minus principal amount which is this now let us uh, solve another problem which is this one uh, what sum deposited now in an account earning 8% interest compounded quarterly so m will be equal to 4 since compounded quarterly will provide a quarterly payments of this and j equal 8% 8% is the nominal rate will payments of uh, 1000 quarterly payments of 1000 for 10 years so the number of installments will be 10 m 10 m which is 10 into 4 which is 40 the first payment to be made uh, three months from now now the question is what sum deposited now in an account so what sum if you deposit in your account today to get one thousand dollar at the end of each three months from the bank this dollar will pay you bank the question is how much should be deposited in your account to get this amount quarterly this is the question to me bank koto taka rakhle bank tomake teen mash por por quarterly one thousand dollar dibe this is the question so it means you need to find the present value present value to get this amount every three months and it will continue up to ten years the interest rate is this this is the nominal rate and since the problem is related to quarterly so m will be equal to 4 now you see by using these informations i equal to this n equal uh, 10m which is 40 and a equal to 1000 1000 is your small a this is the payment of each installment payment by your bank this payment will pay your bank so this is the payment of each installment now if you put uh, the given data in this formula you will get the total amount you need to deposit today to get $1000 every three months quarterly up to 10 years so now let us try to solve this problem i will recommend to solve to understand this problem by yourself in your apartment and try to solve the problems in this way note that the present value you need to calculate in this case and you are given payment of each installment 500 dollar and total number of installments will be 12 
i will be j by m which is this so by using this formula you can calculate present value total sum received by each bonus winner is this i believe you can understand these things by yourself question 6 also please try to understand by yourself this problem is also related to the present value formula here payment of each installment five thousand dollar number of installments 25 and i equal to eight percent the interest compounded yearly so you can easily calculate your present value and total amount will be this since payment of each installment is 5000 and your total number of installments 25 25 so the total amount will be what 5000 into 12, 25 which is this and probably this is the last problem in this in this lecture uh, what payment at the end so ordinary annuity of each month for two years therefore m will be what 12 and since it will continue two years n will be 2 into 12 which is 24 will discharge a current debt of this current loan of this so this is your present value this is your the loan amount if the interest charge on the debt balance at any time is 12 percent this is j 12 percent so i will be 12 percent by 12 since i equal to j by m so there is a mistake i will be 12 percent by 12 which is 0 0.12 divided by 12 which is this this is your i and n equal to 24 present value equal to this so you can calculate small a by yourself present value equal to this a by i 1 minus 1 by 1 plus i equal to the power n so by using your calculator you can easily calculate payment of each installment by yourself that's the end of this lecture and in our next lecture i will discuss differential calculus introduction to the differential calculus that will be our uh, topic for the next class thank you very much for your watching